How do you evaluate an expression with integer exponents? In the previous video for this section, I just demonstrated ways to evaluate, or excuse me, simplify an expression. Now we're going to need to evaluate an expression, which means we should have a numerical final answer. I will be covering two examples to demonstrate how to evaluate an expression given some different values for the variables. So here we have our expression negative 2 a to the 0 power, b to the negative 4th power. And we're going to substitute a for 5 and b for negative 3. When I do that, I keep my negative 2 the same. a becomes 5 to the 0 power. Notice how I'm using parentheses because I'm going to take out the a and I'm going to substitute in a 5. And b is going to be negative 3 to the negative 4th power. You know what you could have done was rewrite the expression without the variables and just put parentheses. That way you can easily substitute in the a and the b term. So remember, any number to the 0 power, this 0 only belongs to this 5, so that becomes 1. Remember, any number to the 0 power is 1. That's from the previous video. And then negative 3 to the negative 4 power, we need to evaluate. So we're going to do negative 3. Oh, excuse me. Well, first we need to make the exponent happy. So I'm going to put negative 3 in the denominator with a positive 4 exponent, and now it's happy. And then I'll have to find out what negative 3 multiplied by negative 3 multiplied by negative 3 multiplied by negative 3 is to find what negative 3 to the 4th power is. So negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, positive 9. And 9 times 9 is going to give us 81. So I'm going to rewrite my expression now as negative 2 times 1 over 81. And since I put negative 3 in with parentheses, my final answer should not be negative. And then I'll multiply across so I get negative 2 divided by 81. And here is my final answer. Okay, time for an example. And I'm actually not going to do this example. You are. I'm going to give you a small hint. Don't forget that A represents negative 2 and B represents 6. And you'll need to substitute those numbers in for those variables. Go ahead and simplify using the previous example that I solved. And bring your work to class tomorrow so I can check for your notes. Good luck.